Aqua Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Shonen no Abyss, aka Boys Abyss Chapter 78. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored, and I'm just on a non-stop high-speed struggle train heading into chaos, and whew, it is hitting hyperspeed. Yeah, it's gotten that bad. If you want to help keep this channel and myself alive and kicking, feel free to hit up my Cash App and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So, last chapter was very interesting indeed because we found out that um, that Kazu, you know, the stepbrother, he saw what happened. He saw that gang committed murder. And, um,. That uh, he was forced to keep that secret to the grave and explains why he's been locked away. And things are going to get interesting now. I think now Rachie's ready. He's ready to escape. And it took someone, you know, asking him for help. Someone that's on his level instead of someone like just looking down on him. To actually, you know, really want to get out. But that's just my opinion. Let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us today. But I saw this cover page on Twitter yesterday. And I have to talk about it here. Because this, this color cover is so fucking powerful. Because you have, you know, the top portion, the winter, the dark, bleak adulthood. With um, Chaco, Reiji, and Gen. And then you have them looking down at their childhood selves at a better time in the summer. And yes, this is a straight up manga Illuminati yin yang motif. And let's be real. All of us, or I don't know if all of us, but the majority of us can feel this. <laughs> at least I can. I can so relate to this. It's like looking at our younger selves. Like, it's just like, oh my God, you know back in the day when it, it in our childhood when it was so simple it's so bright and we could be so ignorant of what's really going on um in the real world and now we're all adults and ugh, fucking sucks it's dark it's bleak it's cold it sucks and i love you for this <laughs> i love you for the sensei you have no idea anyways um this chapter is titled childhood friends Ooh, look at Nagi. She looking fine. Yeah. 18, her striking debut. Nagi Ayo, yeah. 18. Uh, she's 20. She's married, too. To top it off, her husband is a famous novelist. Right, Mr. Novelist. Mm-hmm. Chaco said, sorry for... Fuck you, Chaco! Sorry for earlier. A lot of feelings came welling up when, when we met. Uh, when we met. Sorry for doing... Bitch, you ain't sorry. You ain't sorry. Shut up. Sorry for doing all those awful things. Actually, I was thinking of giving back the 200,000 uh, K yen you gave me when you came over. Totally slipped my mind, but still want to give it back. Oh, 200,000 K yen? Oh, right. She was still in possession of that money. Where did you get all this money? Mr. Mori gave it to me, huh? It was a gift to me, so you don't have to give it back. Come to think of it, after that... I left Chaco at Mr. Izmori's place. This yours um, was uh, was at my place for a while. Um, I remember leaving my bag there, too. Did she take the key or something? Hmm? Line audio. Hello? It was given to you in the first place, so I'll give it all back. Could you borrow that money from, from that t-shirt? I want to get out of here. All right, I'll take it back then. Yeah, take that money back. That was your dad's money. Might as well take it back and get the fuck out. Um, Chaco, did you look inside my bag when you were waiting at Mr. Asmori's place? Huh? I had an envelope with the key inside, but I can't find it. No idea. I didn't see anything. I see. Well, then, what's it used for? It's the key to Miss, um, Mishibasawa's apartment. You're still seeing her? Oh, no, that's not it. I saw her when she came to visit my mom the other day. She told me she wanted a key back, but I can't find it. I was thinking of paying her back for it. Are you going to see her? Seems like she canceled her phone plan. I'm thinking of going to her place directly. Sure, that's okay, dude. No, don't do it. That's stupid. Well, when she, um, well, well, when we met, she really apologized, even towards you. 
saying she did something awful. She is not sorry. Us women, we, uh, and you yeah, men could do it too, but we women, mm, <sighs> we definitely can put on a mask. We are good at this. We are very, very, very good at this. This bitch is definitely good at that. Shibasawa is definitely good at that shit. Yuko is good at that shit. Chaco is, is, nah, Chaco is somewhat good at this shit. She's somewhat good at this shit. But maybe it's because I know, I know how, um, I know how it is. Chaco, you ain't fooling me with this shit. You are lying. You ain't sorry. She wanted, a, she wanted to meet you to apologize. She's full of shit. She don't want to be her to apologize. Nah. But thought you wouldn't like that. She asked me to tell you. She is not sorry. She is not. Um, then let me come with you. I'll go with you to her place. I'll also give you, uh, your money back then. Ray, uh, it's been a while since I've been outside. It's cold. Dude, I love that jacket. I know it's weird that I'm talking about that jacket, but God damn it, I want that jacket. The only thing that's bugging me are the buttons. The buttons are not the right size. They should be a little bit bigger. But that jacket is cute. I would wear that jacket. Um, you okay? Dude, the boots are cute too. Hold on. Yeah, I'd wear that outfit, but dude, Chaco, you are wasting away, girl. You are wasting away. And you know what? Part of me feels like this is some karma that's coming up on you. Because this is this is what you get for not just going for it. This is. This is you you let <laughs> you had a choice, woman. You had a choice to stick up for yourself and you didn't. And this is what happens when you when you um when you don't do that shit. And God seems to think so, too. <laughs> God seems to think so, too, woman. And trust me, I know a lot about being tested by God and being given a lot of shit. I ha I've been dealing with this for, like, at least a decade. <laughs> Maybe two decades. Ooh, I'm telling you, when I say I am on that high-speed struggle train, I have been on that high-speed struggle train. The okay? oh, God, it sucks. It fucking sucks. But damn, I'll tell you what. It, God has been testing me for a long ass time, but it makes you a stronger person. And right now, Chaco is failing. She failing at the struggle life. <laughs> How about we go buy a hot drink at the convenience store? Sure. Chaco? Chaco? Oh, woman! Jesus, woman! Like... I have my body issues too, and I have my jealousy issues. Dude, I understand being salty, and I understand being jelly. And woman, I know you have a Smucker's franchise going on up in there. And you were about to, like, uh, launch some warheads. But, woman, he just not that into you. Get over it. Trust me, again, I've been there, done that. I know. No. Ray, did you see this? Gotta say, she's awesome. I mean, she was picked out from among an idol group with a few fa thousand followers. She's so far away now. That look on her face says it all, doesn't it? Yeah. You and I, we didn't get... Oh, God. Ray, she could have left with her. She could have left and she would have set you free. I still think she is. It's going to be in a way that we don't expect it to be. Which I can't wait to see it. Anyways. You and I, we didn't get to talk much the other day. Uh, well, I wonder why, Chaco. There's something I want to ask. I heard uh, Mitagishi tried to kill his girlfriend and escaped. What happened to him since then? Still MIA. Ray, you think Gens left town? Um, would be kind of ironic if the king who loved it here left uh, while we've been stranded here even though we want to leave. No. Deep down inside, he must always felt, um, have always felt like leaving town too. Huh? Chaco. I want you to listen without getting upset. How about you try talking to Ms. Shibasawa about your future? No! No! 
No! She's always thought of, um, I should leave this town. That's probably what she really planned for me, and I think what she said was right. Maybe she'll listen to you now. Uh, that's why, well, that's all depends on how she acts when we meet. The fact, uh, she went back to society as if nothing happened? That's re that really shows she's an adult. I feel like I might have learned, um, a lot to, I think, I feel like I might have learned to, um, oh my god, what is wrong with me? I feel like I might have a lot uh, to learn from her. Dude, nah. No, 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 no. Based on the side story that we're going to get, I hope um, that it does get translated because I really, really want to cover it. And I'm hoping that Sensei is going to do this. Is basically, um, sometimes what happens is there's a certain situation that, like, is so traumatic that uh, mentally it causes the person to stop aging. So, like, in her mind, and I think she even said this, too. She was, I was said this, that, like, still in, mentally, she's still, like, 17. And I would love to see, I really hope that that's what we're going to be getting in the side story for Shibasawa. I really, really do, because I want to see it. I want to see what caused her to be like this. And with Rent a Girlfriend, we did see, um what it causes mom, what caused mommy to behave the way she does. And I said in my live reaction, it didn't go as far as I wanted it to. And was shown to no abyss. Oh, you know, Rio sensei goes for it. Oh, I want it. I want it. So I could just picture it going far beyond the line. And I want to see it. I want to see it. Anyways, yeah, it's snowing. Ooh, I'll hang back um, so as to not show in the monitor for now. All right, here we go. There's Gen. Reiji, why is he? Did she tell him something? Oh no, she's not here. Looks like it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. A man. Gen? Huh? It's you, Chaco, right? Why are you here again? The three-way struggle! Yes! The three-way struggle! So we had a three-way struggle bus. <laughs> no, I should be saying this. We're on a, like, we're on a full three-way struggle chain. <laughs> it's been struggle chain! <laughs> they've all boarded the three-way husband struggle chain. Well, they've already been on there. They just got them. They're all in the same car now. <laughs> Damn it. Dead. I, 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 I love you for this, though. I do. Um, but it's interesting why Minami Sensei is going this route. Like, why did, would Shibasawa do this? Why? Is it a trap to, like, take out the other two? Hmm. Because we all know that Shibasawa wants to save Reiji. And for me, like how I see it, and I really, really hope that at some point we get a color page. And I, I tweeted this to Minami Sensei, that what I want for a color page is I want a color page of the town, right? Or like, like me, and I just thought about this too. Have the, the town like be like a snow globe and have um, Yuko hold it in her hand and have like a Lilith motif going on for her. Oh my god, that would be such an amazing color page. Oh my god, Minami Sensei, please do it. Please give me like a Lilith Yuko and have her hold like a snow globe next week. Do it for next week's chapter. Oh my god, if we get that for like next week's chapter or like a chapter for, by like the end of the year. Oh my, or even the new year, I would be living where Yuko holding the snow globe of the town and have our Lilith going. Mm. Mm. I would live. That would be fucking amazing. And yes, we would have, of course, the light, the light source on the snow globe. And then like the back, you know, the background would be dark. And then let just have like that little bit of light on her, um, Yuko's face. Holy shit. I could just picture it in my fucking head how this would look. Dude, Minami Sensei, I need that in my life. Oh my God, I need that in my life. Sensei, I am begging you, please do it. I, I, I need that. 
And you could get, um, remember that like red hood we saw a while ago in the color page? You could put that red hood over um, Yuko, Yuko's head and just like have, have the white hair come out and just have like the eyes. Oh, oh. See, I got ideas. <laughs> ideas for what I want. I wish I could draw because I would do it. I would draw it myself, but goddamn, Minami Sensei, I am begging you, please do this. It would be so fucking cool. And we'd have like this, we have like this demonic religious kind of thing going on. Oh my God, it would work so well. It would, it would, especially with this. Okay. And I got that off my chest. What, especially with what I'm thinking for Shibasawa. Shibasawa to me is like the Beelzebub of the situation where she is going to rebel because she wants to, in all reality, she wants to fuck up Yuko's shit. Let's be real. Because she wants to save Reiji, a.k.a. Well, I feel like Reiji would be the Antichrist in all this, right? <laughs> she wants to save him. And that would mean rebelling against Yuko, which in mythology, Beelzebub does rebel against Hades. So there you go. There's that. But, and you already have Gen who is one of the minions, but there's the other thing too. Does Yuko even know about this? Because remember we did see Jibasawa come out of Yuko's house. And that, that's why I'm just like, this is all going according to plan, right? Again, why I say that to this bitch is Beelzebub? <laughs> because he was, was, 80, it was an underling of Hades. God. See, I can, I can come up with shit on the fly. I would love to have like some religious undertones to this. It just would work so well. And then mofos would try to make, because uh, we already have like this little bit of religious undertone where, um, where Nagi is supposed to be like the savior, this angel that is going to um, rescue Reiji from this hell, from uh, from this underworld. And hmm, like I'm trying to think what you could say for Chaco and for Gen in this analogy here. I'm curious what you guys would call would call them up in here. Um, well, Chaco, Chaco, I think she's gonna die i think so i honestly do because they have no you go and um and shibasawa have no use for chaco so I, I got a feeling this is a trap to kill chaco in all reality that's my opinion um for gen though hmm what about gen what about him does you that's another thing does you go have any use for gen anymore or does Shibasawa have any use for Gen anymore either? Because if they don't, then might as well kill him too. I'm very curious what you guys think about this. I've got, I really love, i got to keep thinking about the direction I want for this fucking cover. God damn it. Um, but I'm really curious what you guys think. Um, what kind of analogy can you see like going on up in here? Like, especially within a re uh, religious analogy, I keep in, in a way, I kind of want to compare it to Kakiguri in this way, because you kind of have the same thing going on there too. It's different. Yes, it is different. But like in terms of like trying to save someone and having, you know, people looking down on the person that is, trying to be saved and all that. I'm, I'm just talking about little things like that. That's why I'm like, I kind of think of Kakiguri in a way as well. well. At least that's just my opinion. Very curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc. Love what I'm doing. I want to help keep this channel alive and kick it so I can keep bringing you more Shana Noah Abyss content. A few ways you could do that. Donate to my cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.